Can you say team's rooms? Say team's rooms. Can you say Mo Mondays? Mo oh, you've got to go because it's time for another episode of Mo Mondays. Welcome to another episode of Mo Mondays, where I, Mo, will give you five minutes of bite-sized information around all things Microsoft Teams rooms. In today's episode, we are going to demystify IntelliFrame. We get asked a lot of questions about IntelliFrame, what it is, and hopefully within the next five minutes or so, I'm going to talk you through exactly what it is and how it works. But to start off with, let's start off by talking about Microsoft's hybrid vision. Uh, Microsoft's hybrid vision, uh, one of the key factors to any great experience, whether it be physical or digital, is tapping into human senses. Microsoft's vision for a meaningful hybrid experience focuses on being able to hear, so hear and be heard, see, see and be seen, and enable collab co collaboration. Uh, and all three combined together provide great immersive and inclusive experiences in the room. And when we take a little look at see and be seen, um, most of us, when we look at people, about 80% of all communication is actually done um, by seeing people's reactions and pe seeing people's faces. And that's why the C and B C pillar becomes super, super important. When we look at our awesome OEMs and the great cameras that are out there that are certified for Microsoft Teams rooms, there are a whole range of different cameras made available. We have what we call intelligent cameras, which are multi-stream intelligent cameras, we have other intelligent cameras that provide AI capabilities on board. So things like speaker tracking, group tracking, um, you know, etc. Uh, and then, of course, we have legacy uh, cameras which have no AI on board. And these are, you know, could be PTZ cameras, could be digital or or, um, or, or optical cameras as well. Amazing cameras, nevertheless, uh, but without having AI on board. And sometimes it becomes a challenge for our customers as well as some of our partners to try and figure out which camera do they put in the into the room to provide that great immersive experience. The great thing is, it does not matter what camera you put inside of the room now, because within Teleframe, we're able to identify the type of camera that's being used and provide the best experience possible. And we do this in a number of different ways. For example, we have something called Cloud in Teleframe, where if you're using a legacy uh, video camera with no AI on board, we actually do some magic. Uh, up in the cloud to provide great experiences. And I'll talk you through that in a second. Um, there's a new breed of cameras that are coming out, which is what we call center of room intelligent cameras. And these are designed to give you a 360 uh, view of everybody inside of that room with a twist. And again, I'll show you that uh, in a second as well. And then of course we have our multi-stream IntelliFrame uh, cameras as well that will provide individual video feeds. Let me run you through a quick video to show you uh, what it looks like when you connect up a legacy camera, a legacy camera meaning a camera with no AI on board. So in this particular video, you'll see you simply hit the down button on the camera, you switch on IntelliFrame, and as soon as you switch on IntelliFrame, Teams rooms will be able to identify the type of camera that's used. If you're using a legacy camera, um, that camera will provide a single video feed into the cloud before it hits the remote participant of the whole room. And what IntelliFrame does IntelliFrame brings that magic because in the cloud, we are able to actually split that video and identify individual people inside of the room. So we're able to actually provide a composite view with four people on that same screen. So it gives you a more clearer image of who's actually talking, uh, really tapping into that CNBC part of Microsoft's hybrid vision. However, what if we're using an intelligent camera? Uh, a multi-stream intelligent camera, or maybe one of the new breeds of camera, which is the 360 center of room camera. Let's take a look at what happens here. With a center of room camera, uh, we're able to actually take that 360 panoramic feed and, and provide that inside of uh, the meeting space. So um, we call it dynamic view. So with dy dynamic views, we're able to identify the type of camera that's used and then provide the best views possible. So you'll notice across here on this video, we actually will show the 360 panoramic view across the bottom. 
But again, with these intelligent cameras, because they have multi-stream capabilities as well, not only do we can we provide that 360 view if you're using a center of room camera, but if you're using like a, a, a multi-stream intelligent camera, uh, we will actually provide individual video feeds of those people in the room. Uh, and each person has their own video. So it's not a single video feed that's split in four. It will be an individual video feed of up to those four people. We then take it one step further as well. These multi-stream intelligent cameras will also have the capability of being able to identify the person in the room. So when you walk into the room, um, the camera will recognize you as a person. So, you, of course, you have an onboarding process in the very beginning. So, you know, you tell the camera, hey, this is my face. So it recognizes you. And then if you are part of that meeting and you join in that meeting room space, it will identify Serena. It will identify Quarry, it will identify Mo and actually provide that as a roster um, uh, as part of the uh, as part of the attendees that are joining that meeting space that's my five minutes so the key takeaway here is it does not matter what camera you are using whether you're using a legacy video camera or you're using one of the new breeds of multi-stream intelligent cameras IntelliFrame does the magic for you and it does it in the cloud it will provide you with the very best experience possible to be able to be see and be seen correctly my name is Mo, my five minutes are up, and I hope to see you guys next week. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below to let me know what you would like to see. Enjoy the rest of your weeks, and I'll see you soon.